Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to the 85 rated Rider right Line Golden Plane. So when I was indeed reviewing Nine Golan, I had a pretty interesting team around them, I must say. We have got the likes of Lacazette, Anthony Martial, Leon Goretzka, another review coming out later today or tomorrow. Gal Cancelo, De Vry, everything in this team is pretty solid other than Max. Farming is better than last year. I've been maxing because they want by Alaba, I need to get power on full chem. So this team is actually a team I'm willing to keep for foot champs. It is a really good team. There's a little team for you unless I'm pointing to left at me for Alaba and his bow tanks for the tar. But other than that, I keep this team. It's a very, very good team. So we've got like some Lucas. And Angolan was a standout player in this team. There is not a single doubt without it. This guy is an extremely, extremely good player. He is the sort of player looking at a mindset as you're like your main marquee midfielder. He's gonna control that midfield, he's gonna play goals forward, play goals, he's gonna play the ball forward, he's gonna defend, he's gonna be in the middle of the pack, running the whole game with a 93 stamina. And we're gonna go into his stats, right? He has 80,000 coins, he's five foot nine, high high work rates, three star, three star. That is pretty much what you need for a midfielder. Um, 80k right now is a steal for him, he's got 100k as I'm recording the audio now, and he'll, be, he'll continue to go up, so if you're going to buy him, buy him now, like, really, like, buy him as soon as you can. Great investment, he's wants to watch on release date, his stats are just qualities, he's not the fastest player, but with a basic, which I ended up using a maestro on him to, incre to increase his um, other stats, um, he's, he's, a, he's just good, I think he's best in basic to be honest, but I put a maestro on him in the end. And he's a complete midfielder. He is the complete midfielder. There's nothing else you can want from a midfielder than Nangola in this game. Look at his stats. His stats lie. He's better than his stats. He plays like an away he's up to play, but at least without blabbering on about his stats, let's actually go to, go to see the gameplay and see how well actually played for me, like in terms of goals, assists, tackles. Let's get into it. So when we do look at Ryan Line Golden, we see an absolute warrior. He does not give up for that ball. The passes he makes in the games and the contribution he puts towards every single game is like none other. The best midfield I've used in FIFA 19 currently. I can't see anyone getting much better than Ryan Line Golden. He does exactly what you need him to do. He tackles, he puts in the effort. He's I think he's got 93 stamina. He doesn't stop for the whole game. And look at this man, just makes a run through. No one can get the ball off him, plays it. Keep going, wait, except for that guy. But then he goes to get it back straight away. He just get it back, kind of back in there. He, make, he likes to make these little runs where he just runs through and then passes it through. Maybe the through ball or like a or like a long pass or in some to shoot, take a long shot. Now he's one of the best shooters I've used in this game for some reason. I mean, look at this for a goal, beautiful. And that's one of eight goals he scored for me in the, no six games, which is ridiculous considering he played defensive midfield pretty much. Um, obviously, like that draws the corner here. Now, it's just 68th minute. I'm thinking, or well, 60th minute, I'm like, yo, what we're we gonna do? Like, cross it in. Man, go down, have the ball in. Lack is their overhead kick, 2 0. Not only is he good at like everything, he's good at everything plus everything else. Like, he, he can take corners, he can shoot, he can pass, he's pretty quick. He's strong, he, he's got stamina to run for days. This guy can just run through teams like nothing. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Loses the ball, keeps battling, keeps battling, keeps battling. Keeps battling. And gets it back eventually and scores a goal to make it 3 0. Ryan Angola is the heart of every single game I've played so far. He is the heart of the team 100%, better than any other player I've used this year. Another player I thought was extremely good was Marcelo. And there'll be more reviews coming out for Jao Cancelo, Lucas. Lacazette, surprisingly, was really good. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, we've got Lacazette here, passes 9 goal, and 9 goal into a few step he's puts it in and to the top corner. He doesn't give up. He really is worth the 80k. But I recommend if you're going to buy him, you're going to have to buy him now or the next couple of days in the early access if you're on Xbox One or even on web app and PS4 if you've got the money because this is going to go up in price a lot. I mean, talking about 200k, which is pretty in insane. I mean, look at this from Lucas, it's a little new skill move. Perfect ball from Roger to Lacazette again, who puts it in. Lacazette is always back in the game, he gets a hat trick with Nine Golden getting two assists. Honestly, Nine Golden is the, the perfect midfielder. He's the complete midfielder, the complete attacker. You can play him anywhere in midfield, he will succeed. You remember a striker, he will do well. You remember a centre back, will do well. Before you can play him in goal, because he's only 5 foot 9, this guy just battles for it every single time. Just battles and battles. He doesn't give off either. Every single time. He doesn't make a single fault for me, really. Look at that there, passes the ball. Keeps trying to get it back and does get it back every single time. There we go, attack start from um, Mangoni getting the ball back there. And there's another goal for Lacazette to make it 2 2. And at this point, I was down in the game, so I was like, okay, Raja's got to do something here. I was actually losing for like the first time with, with Raja and Mangoni. I've actually lost a single game yet when I'm playing Mangoni. It's the 90th minute. I'm like, okay, we'll cross it in. Crosses it in. Keep it to I'm like, oh no, it's game over. Was I wrong? Yes, I was wrong. Passing that in Golan. It lags a little bit actually. Passing in Belly. 
and then Nangolan comes in. When I, so I see Regrets get then to Nangolan, right? Nangolan takes the ball. Lacket takes the ball from Nangolan and puts it in top top corner. Nangolan, without Nangolan being there, that would not have been a goal. 92nd minute, puts it in top corner. Brilliant goal for Lacazette. Nangolan fighting for that ball in the middle once again. Nine Golden was the heart of his team, definitely 100%. So I've got a free kick here as well. I'm sort of thinking I shouldn't get Nine Golden to take it, just screw it. I passed it there, I passed it there back to Nine Golden. Look at that, once again, pretty much the same goals he scored. With that lovely little finesse shot chip when he's out on the box. Now, over the Nine Golden as a player, I rate him a 9.8 out of 10. He is the complete midfielder. Attack, attacking, defensive, shooting, strength, stamina. He's got the full package. He is absolutely everything you want in the midfielder, everything. They, I can't I can't fault him for anything. He's not even too small. Five foot nine isn't exactly the tallest player, but he doesn't have to be tall. He's that good. He can head of the ball as well. You know, he's not he's not the tallest player. He's, he's not the fastest player, but he feels quick. So like honestly this guy, 9.8 out of 10 for me. And yeah, he's he's the best midfielder in the game of you so far. 100 percent of the coins. Value for coins 10 definitely, but that will change when he gets to 200 k mark plus. And that's pretty much it for the review, I would say. If you guys didn't enjoy it or that find it helpful, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and peace.